Namaste and good morning out there to everyone. Destiny is back with another video. Now this video has been something that has been going on through my mind probably for about a month. Um, and I just know that it is time to do this video. This was the video that I had talked about about three weeks ago when I was doing a real talk and I was telling you about this nursery rhyme about row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. And I was telling everyone out there how this little childhood nursery rhyme kept coming before me and kept coming to my mind and I knew that it was synchronicity sent from the universe. So during that time, I would look around and bam, you know, <laughs> this nursery rhyme will pull up in a video or a book will pop up or the song will start playing in my head or I'm sitting in my classroom with my students and all of a sudden, when the students said, let's say, row, row, row your boat, I was like, okay. I knew with all those messages being the same kept coming toward me and kept coming and playing in my mind, I was like, you know, there's a message. And I was excited. I'm very excited. And I wanted to, at that moment to jump right into it and start the video. But then there was something within me that was saying, not yet. And I know that was the divine creator God was saying, not yet. Not yet. And I told you in a video about three weeks ago when I was doing a real talk, when I was speaking of this nursery rhyme, I said that I will bring this video at the appointed time. Well, guys, the appointed time is today. It is today. Today is the appointed time. And why I say that, let me, let me tell you why I'm saying that. This morning, and let me tell you what today is. Today is Tuesday. It's December 17th, 2018. And early this morning, I was sitting on my bed and I was in meditation and then I was also seeking the divine creator for a message for my 10 seconds to one minute viewers out there. And as I was all into that message and he was giving me some pointers and things to speak to my 10 seconds to one minute viewers, this video popped up when I was on my computer. It just popped up out of nowhere because I had written the notes all down because I always do my videos in articles and I study on them and I meditate upon them and I just, you know, just add on as I need to add on as the divine creator God gives me the information to be able to add to the videos until it's completed. And I wasn't looking for this video because I already said early this morning when I got up, when I was in meditation, I'm like, you know, I'm not doing that video. I'm not ready for that video. That, that video is a whole lot. And I'm not ready. And when I said that, no matter within, no matter within five minutes later, I'm on my computer, in my documents, in my documents, searching some other things. And bam, bam, I'm like, what? Where you come from? I didn't pull you up. And I was like, wow, I know I got to do this. And this is very lengthy. It is going to be very long. So I'm just going to get started because I know that today is the day that the creator God wants me to start into this video. So let's jump into it now and let's talk about it in this type of videos when it is so much information to give out at one time. I'd rather to go behind the scenes of the camera and just talk. 
because there's so much and I don't want to put myself out there in front of the camera because I don't want to be a distraction and blocking your mind from hearing everything in the message. So, again, welcome. This is Destiny. And I have this message, and then, like I said, it is going to be lengthy. I'm just going to get started. And I truly, at this moment, feel like I will not get through this entirety of this video today. But I'm going to be obedient because I know the Creator God put it out there this morning. He pulled it up out of nowhere and threw it in front of me when I had no, I had no part of that video being put out there on my, on my screen this morning, on my, on my computer screen. So here I am. I'm ready to get started. So you got me here for such a time as this. Now, Creator you take you take it and you just use me and you continue to speak this message through me and I will be using the notes that you have given me and you just use me have use me for whatever you want so I can be able to reach your viewers out there for all your wonderful beautiful people the beautiful souls that you have placed in my life so I am ready and I did tell you I did not know the topic at the time when I was speaking about this video was coming. So I am going to title this video, Rowing Your Boat Upstream. And I know being a child, and we all remember this little nursery rhyme in school. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. How many out there remember that? Hit the comment box. Say, I do, Destiny. I remember Destiny because I do remember it. And it's been so many years, but for some reason, it has been one of the songs that has been playing in my mind for over a month. And I know that I have seen it so many different times, coming from so many different places, hearing it from so many different people. And I just said, it's a message coming from the universe. And synchronicities, it just trying to tell you the universe is trying to get your attention. And I keep telling you guys, and you have to get this, there is, there are no accidents. There are no coincidence. Things happen because these are divine appointments from your God, your divine creator. So I'm going right into it. That was just a little introduction. Now this nursery rhyme, row, row, row your boat. And it may invoke fond memories of your childhood. <laughs> I know you're going to bring you back to that place. I was sitting in that little classroom and we were all going through this song, Row, Row, Row Your Boat. But guess what? Recently, I have come to understand that the song, it has challenged us to live life. And I'm saying this, guys. Listen to me. I'm saying this softly and I'm trying to keep this slow. As we begin our voyage to explore this world, especially our spiritual journeys, our spiritual awakening to our higher self, as we begin to break out of that box and out of that control of our egos, guys, we are allowing the divine creator, our God, to pull us into the directions of our higher state of consciousness away from the lower subconscious state of, of the ego, we are on a spiritual journey. Whether we are rowing our boats, but we are moving and transcending and into the direction that the Creator God is pulling us. Now, we are not going on this journey downward. Like the nursery rhyme said, row, row, row your boat. 
gently down. No, we've been down. We've been pressed down. We've been suppressed down. We've been tied down in the lower state of our subconsciousness, the ego. So we are going to reverse this because our God creator is calling us upstream. Upstream to our higher and greater consciousness being. Upstream so we can come into our more authentic spirituality of knowing who we are and our divine purpose for our lives. To know our assignments and what we are created to be and how we are to be able to be used in our journey traveling and transcending in a higher, greater state. So, as we begin our voyage to explore the world, remember not to let our boats wander. We have done it all our life and do not let our boats crash on the shoreline of our ego. Rather, listen. We are taking our boats and today, everybody, turn your hands around in a circle like motion. And we're going to steer our boats in the opposite direction away from our egos. And we are to row our boats. And we are going to hold a steady heading. And we are going to be the one that is driving this. This part of our lives to our destination. We are taking the power of the steering wheel away from our egos. And we are steadily holding it and we're steadily guiding it. Because our subconscious is pulling us upstream. Steadily heading and traveling gently no more down the stream but we are taking a detour and we are going up stream now we have encountered raging rapids that rocks our boats from side to side we've been through the storms of life we've been through the pains of life we've been through a lot of lies we've been through a lot of False identities. We've been through a lot of programming. We've been told a lot of lies about who we are, where we come from, what our purpose are. We've been lied to, bamboozled. We've been hooked weak. It all came from our ego. But we came comfortable with it and we just allowed ego to have its way in us. And we just allowed ego to take the driver's seat and take away our power, our identity, our control. Our purpose and who we were created to be. And we just got comfortable with rowing down that stream with that ego. And we may encounter, like I said, as we were heading down these raging rapids. And like I said, our boats really got rocked in a bad way. Our lives was wrecked and messed up. And we didn't even realize how messed up we were. And then we also, our boats, it would just rock us from side to side. From places to places. To the unknowns of things that we had no idea where we were. Who we were. The people that was coming in our lives. We didn't know anything. We didn't know nothing about ourselves. We didn't know anything about ourselves. So our soul consciousness, our divine creator, our higher and greater self. Because, wow, the ego has snatched everything away from us. Our memory was stained. Our memory was fogged. Our brain was fogged. We didn't know anything. So anyway, we just went on in that boat, rocking from side to side. Through a thick fog that clouded our vision from seeing what pearls and what dangers and what troubles that laid ahead of us. That laid out in front of us. We didn't see anything because we were sleeping. 
deeply sleeping. Our eyes was closing. We were in that lullaby state and we were so comfortable and we just did not want to open our eyes because the rocking felt good and we knowing that we didn't have to do it ourselves. We have someone to serve us and we gave our life over to the ego to serve us. Trusting the ego to guide us to the place that we needed to be to our greater and higher self. No. We trusted the ego. The ego, it turned on us. And it had a purpose and a plan of its own to keep us from reaching our greater and higher self. So we can know that great power the creator God put in us. And not to mention, we have spent our whole life preparing for the challenges that we, that we will or those challenges that will threaten to knock us off course. And yes, we have gotten knocked, knocked off course. Our different paths, our different journeys, yes, we have gotten knocked off many times. And we will encounter new problems that will require us to develop new solutions. Every day, every day from when we out there rolling downstream with that ego, we always going to come up with something that's going to keep us off of the course and keep us out of the path of moving to our divine creator. And all the news problems that happen and that happen. And we don't know how to find these solutions. We don't know how to develop and create that life because we have detached ourselves. And we have separated ourselves from our divine God, our creator, our higher power, from the universe. We don't even go out into nature. We don't even connect with the divine source and the divine power. We don't know our identity, our attachment. And we don't even know how we are connected to God. Because we are God. So we don't know no other way to find new solutions. As long as we are rocking in and waving and moving downward, deeper into our egos. Also, we will encounter new problems. And also, we will encounter more and more and more of that. What we speak, especially when we speak in negative thoughts and things and sending out negative vibes and negative emotions. And, and we continue living in a negative environment of our ego and all the programming of different systems, different world systems. We'll never find a new solution. And we need to be looking for that new solution. But we need to wake up. We can't even, even begin to know what... The new solutions are, we don't know who we are. We don't even know who our lives belong to or who we'll be connected to. We don't even know the power that is within us. We don't know the divine creator, God. When he created us and stepped onto this earth, he said, let there be. And everything came to existence. And everything came and it, and it expanded all across the sky. The moon came, the sun came, the stars came. Out of the earth came Plants and flowers and seeds and the animals were spoke into existence. And then he called out man. He reached down and he rolled man in the clay of the dirt. And he breathed into his nostrils. And that's when we became a living soul. We became a living soul. Created in the likeness and in the image of our divine creator, God. And he gave us that same power. He breathed into us his power, his spirit. His light, his peace, and his love. And somewhere down the path after our creation, we came complacent. We came a lost people. And we gave over our power and control to the ego. So we got to turn around now. And we got to wake up. That's the thing. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Up. Stop sleeping in, into the boat of your ego. Stop letting the ego roll you down that stream because it feels comfortable with the waves moving you back and forth. No. It may feel comfortable, but you're headed for death. As long as you're in the control of the ego, we got to find new solutions. Get up out of that state of being programmed, being bamboozled and lied to, and being used and manipulated. And when we find these new solutions, these moments will strengthen our resolve and make us a better captain. 
Because now we're going to take over that stern of that boat and our own power that the Creator creates for us. We got to become our own captain. Further preparing us for the river that lies ahead because we're going to stop and let it go. I'm, uh -uh, you get out because I'm not going any further with you. I am not going down this stream with you. There's a higher calling on my life. There is a journey that I have to reach and it's not down. It is upward to my divine, higher and greater constant state of being. I know who I am. I am becoming to know that I have a greater, higher purpose. And I am out in search of that. So take a moment. Don't forget, though, when you, when you get ready to start to bore your higher and greater self, just take a moment to look back, but only for a brief moment. Now, a good captain makes very sure that nothing is left behind or forgotten. And everything that you want to leave behind is the ego. You want to forget that ego. But you're still going to have to become consciously aware. So you want to keep your focus. So if it shows up again, you will recognize it and you can call it out and you can put it in a stop immediately. And then you can know how to address it. And then you can know how to tell it, get out and leave because you no longer control me or dominate my life. Leave behind the ego. But you take along the lessons that you learned. And you don't want to forget that. So you can use those mishaps and those, mis those programming lies and all those manipulating controls and all that nature. You want to learn lessons so you can now use those to empower you to your greater, higher self. Don't anchor our boat down with the troubles of our past. Let go. As I keep telling you, you cannot walk into your future Looking back at your past, trying to hold on to your past, you can't see the future ahead of you. And you will never end up into your present state moment, that now. We have a beautiful boat, guys, that is well made and stuck with all the necessary provisions. Everything that we needed, he created God's already told us, is in us. Look within yourself, that boat is full of everything that is good for you. You are powerful. You are dynamic. You are your own creator. You are God. You are God consciousness. The greater one is in you. That is all in your boat. You are an overcomer. You are an achiever. You are a success. You are powerful. You are dynamic. You are the greater than he than he that is in the world. You got it all, baby. It's in you. You already got that in your boat. You got all the necessary provisions already stocked so you can make that journey from downstream going upward to your greater and higher self. That's your body, baby. All that is within you. That's your temple. We are the temple of the Most High God, our Creator. He gave us that temple and He put His self in. He pitched this tent within us. And although our boats are not made, to stay on shore, listen, it serves as our vessels to go on an all-inspiring voyage to discover our greater and higher self, to come connected with our divine self and our divine creator of the universe. Our voice, guys, it, let me see again, I'm trying to, I got, got to slow this down, I don't want to get it too far ahead of you. Our voice begins at our root chakra. Now, have you heard of the seven major chakras? The 
the root chakra, the sacral, the solar plexus, the heart, your throat, your third eye, which is the pineal gland, and all the way to your crown chakra. But we have to start our journey, our voyage, at our root chakra. And as we move upward, We're on this journey. And as we move upward through our sacral chakra and continue traveling through our solar plex chakra, and now we're setting our sails and we got deep into the heart chakra and we experience a love like we never experienced. And we are seeing ourselves now becoming more peaceful or more at peace and we, we begin to see a light. That's because we now passing through that heart chakra and we on our way to our throat chakra and now our voice be, become powerful and we're speaking out our truths and we are speaking against the things and the, that come against us that's all negative and we are standing because our voice has that power to speak out the things that our Creator has put in us to speak that we have held within us all our lives. And we continue to move to our third eye. And our third eye chakra. Now we have seen all the knowledge and the information. And all the things that the creator of God has been trying to show us. But we are still propelling ourselves up higher and higher and higher. Because we're trying to reach that top of that peak. And that is the crown chakra. We are on this journey. And that's where we all need to be setting ourselves. The sail of our boats. We need to set ourselves to land all the way up to our crown chakra. So let's take this journey together. Take a time. Just breathe. And trust the universe. And put out your words to the universe. And tell them, I am ready. I am ready and I'm turning my, my boat and I'm rowing my boat upstream. Finally, I'm ready to take that journey. So you look back on your past. You look back on your past hurts. You look back on all those past fears. You look back on all that negativity. You look back into the face of the ego and say, I win. I am an overcomer. I am an achiever. I control my life. You look back and you say farewell to your old life. You say farewell to everything that came to hurt you, to destroy you, to kill you, to keep you in that lower place of your subconscious. You say goodbye to all that they say goodbye to your ego. Bye, ego. And you snatch back your power. And as we set out for our new higher selves, we're going to walk it out in our most beautiful, authentic form that the creator God has created to be. And we're walking out in power because now we are on our way to our higher and authentic self. That destination is pointing you into the place, into the path of your true purpose, your true identity. I fear no evil for you know that the divine God, your creator, is with you. And it's time. So now, as we depart from the dock, that dock of the ego, and we are ready to roll our boats gently. We're rolling. Oops, 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 stop, stop. Remember, we're no longer going down that street now. We already said bye to the ego. We already said bye to the past and all the past lies and all the past hurts and all the past programs, all the negativities that the past held us too. We already said bye. So stop. We're not going down. Remember, the plans have changed. You got to remember that. You got to stay focused. You got to stay focused to whatever you speak because whatever you speak out of your mouth becomes your reality. It becomes your life. It becomes your plans. 
for your future. It becomes you, your identity and yourself. So you better watch and guard the words that you speak out of your mouth. You already have cut the ties and the strings from your ego, from all the past. Now you have to make sure you reverse everything. Reprogram your mind. Rewire your mind from the negative thoughts and the negative thinking, all the negative control. Now you're going upstream. Our soul consciousness has switched our radars to sail upward. So say with me, I'm going upward. I'm going with the flow. I'm going with the flow of the universe. I can hear the calling of the universe calling me out of darkness of the ego into the marvelous light of my soul consciousness state of being. But guess what? Our egos see us pulling away and we moving upward. And the ego do not want to lose, guys. The ego do not want to give you up. The ego do not want to give you back your power. The ego wants to keep you in its hold, in its lies, in its false beliefs and everything it taught you. It want to keep you because it wants to dominate you and control you and to give you false hope and belief so you will never know your true and authentic self so you'll never know your power. You are powerful. You are an energy being. You are God. The ego do not want you to know that. So if the ego is competing to keep us going further down into that stream. But, the, but it is the ego's plan. To finish you off for good. The more I can get my hands on you, the ego is saying, the more control I can get myself around you, and the more I can get my hands wrapped around you, eventually I can get it up to your neck and I can squeeze the life out of you. His plans of the ego is to kill you. So we finally get the message. And we know that, hey, we got to turn our boats around as fast as we can now. We got to get out of there because there is nothing but death going down that stream. We will not see the light of day. We will never see our higher, greater self. We will never reach the destination that the creator of God is calling us. He's calling us out of the darkness of the ego into the marvelous light. He's calling us to be authentic, to be our greater and higher self. He's calling us to the kingdom, our crown sharper, that kingdom of God, which is within us. We got that message. And we took that message. We heard our soul constantly crying out, shouting within our timid and fearful bodies. You got this. The, our soul constantly saying, you got this. I got you. Keep pulling. Keep pulling. And keep pushing yourself upward. I will pull you up. And I will pull you out of there. And suddenly, we gave it everything that we had. And we took that family leap of faith. And we used every muscle in our legs. And we used everything within our body, the strength. And we just allow ourselves to be snapped 